How's it going, good citizens of the Reject Nation? We are back. I am back. It is 2023, and we are going to watch Justice League War because of how much we enjoyed Flashpoint and how much you seem to enjoy us enjoying that movie. We read the comments, and the comments seem to say, hey, this is a whole series. You know what's next? Justice League War. And we're like, you know, I like a good series, and maybe we'll watch even more of them if you hit that subscription bell so you can get notified if we do, in fact, watch more of them. We're going to watch more of them. But hit that like so we know to watch more of them. How you doing, Greg? I am Greg. <laughs> I was just thinking of much Greg's better vote. now. I was, <laughs> I was <laughs> tell you, <laughs> Greg, that was for you. How you doing, John? I am terrific. I'm ready to step over to the dark side, Koi. Ooh, How are cause you? War. Cause Cause it started a dark war. universe and we're going to some sort of war. Mm -hmm. I'm better. I can hear more than I've been able to hear since Thanksgiving. Uh, I am propped up on all sorts of like energy and more energy to come. Now, speaking of more energy, if you want to watch this full thing synced up with more energy than you can imagine, become a sexy reject by becoming a patron and you can watch this whole shebang because we're watching on HBO Max. That's really accessible. So you just line it up, sync it up, press play, whole shebang. I think we are ready. Hit that like, leave a comment. Let's go to war. Is this the mysterious Batman who's been spotted in Gotham? Whoa. <laughs> it stands to reason. I mean, I'd buy it. What is happening? Going somewhere, buddy? All right. You want to dance? Let's dance. He does have a Frank Miller Batman shape to him. Ooh. Green Dragon Lantern. Your move, precious. Precious. No, no, don't! Ooh! <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> An elevator. These movies can be so good. Make a Green Lantern movie good. What's it gonna cost me? You're welcome, lady. Come here now. I ain't falling for that. Hal Jordan knows better. Food. High tech armor, huh? <laughs> You're gonna have to do better than that. Ooh. Damn, like a skip stone. Okay, that was better. Real Batman. What were you doing at the docks? I want answers. Damn. These animated movies do not mess around. They just go. Damn. <laughs> Green Lantern Express. So badass in this. Glow stick and go home. Gotham's mine. No, see, this entire space sector is my beat. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Love the imagination of these that things. That's so good. Witnesses spotted this thing trying to plant some kind of bomb downtown. When the cops confronted it, it spewed fire from its mouth. Green Lantern can do anything. Except shut up, apparently. Wow, someone forgot to take their true blood tonight. Eh, topical. I don't have HBO. <laughs> it's been canceled. Oh crap, that's a bomb and he just armed it. Lantern, wait! Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a nice tribute to Batman Forever. <laughs> it doesn't scan like a bomb, more like an alien computer. Like the guy in Metropolis? <laughs> Superman. His power levels are not going to be a problem for me. <laughs> This guy. It's broadcasting some kind of signal, and we've tracked similar signals emitting from Coast City, Gotham, and Metropolis. Then it's talking to someone. It's trying to create some kind of unity. Any further data on the device? Nothing yet. I should know more in a few hours. I can't help but suspect I'm speaking to a fellow scientist. I'll catch up with you later, Dr. Stone. 
Is it safe to just calm flash over the phone like yeah, that? Yeah, I'm like, I don't <laughs> feel like that phone is safe. Come on, man. Go Be see. a dad. Don't let him become a cyborg. You're messing up. Come on, My Billy. dad's got the tickets. And one for your grandson? What? <laughs> <laughs> you are not Silas Stone. <laughs> <Then> you <laughs> could go out on a limb. <laughs> A man. <laughs> Next stop, Nationals. Sports and hard, making some plays. Yay. Yeah. I don't know, you kid. Dad, you're, you're <laughs> not my dad. These freaks cost America over one hundred million dollars wow. in property damage. Who's gonna pay for that? Us regular people. That's who. I know what channel news he watches. Uh, that's grim. What is your problem with me? You swing that sword with a smile and you scare normal people. And you dress like a... Wow, my guy. Jesus. The lasso compels you. Now tell us your truth. I cross-dress in a Wonder Woman outfit. It makes me feel powerful. <laughs> Live your truth, buddy. Come on. We don't kink shame in this house. Nope, not at all. <laughs> Embrace your truth, my yeah, friend. Yeah, Diana gets it. You threw that last touchdown pass like 43 yards. Doesn't matter if there's not someone on the other end to make the catch. Must be nice to trust someone else that much. Just wish I could trust my dad. I should go. Nice meeting you, Victory. Tell your dad he's got some great seats. Yeah, I will. <laughs> oh. I think he would love to know that. Cold, Asher Angel. Where's my... Yes! <laughs> Superman's close. I've been tracking his flight path. <sighs> On what? Your own satellite? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I love this Batman. They're great. Do they get paired up a lot? I love them together. When they do, it's always great. I'm liking it. This is the good move. First one to the building is. <laughs> I really hate that guy. <laughs> Nah, you'll learn to love him. No offense. You just get in the way. Here's the plan. Green Lantern kicks Superman's ass. TMZ's got the video. Topical. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Those are Superman lasers. Oh, no. There's oh, some. I got a little green. <laughs> right through the cell. <sighs> Whew. So, what can you do? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. The creature that attacked me had one of those boxes you have. <laughs> All right. It's now how it's starting to get would actually go. Like he's just pushing forward. This is great. <laughs> like there's no reluctance. Round two, Flyboy. Lantern, no! Wow. He's pissed off. We have to talk to him. Talk to him? Yeah, use your words, boys. Should have started there, maybe. I don't know. You bruise, but you don't kill, do you? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Bruce Wayne. Oh. Who the hell is Bruce Wayne? <laughs> nice. This is great. Oh, yeah. We are in danger of losing the element of surprise, my lord. I humbly ask that you move up your timetable. Let the invasion begin. Oh, wow. Do we get granny darkness? What's happening? We are witnessing the birth of a new race of superhumans, beings who can fly, tear through buildings, and outrun race cars. They will make what you can do obsolete. Wow. World, throwing a football is a joke. Wow. Father of the year. You're never going to come <sighs> to one of my games, are you? No. Wow. Something's <laughs> happening. We can talk about this later. Ooh. 
I don't think you've left anything. I don't, else I don't to know talk if you're really going to talk. <laughs> that's kind of that's it. You said no. You just cut directly to the chase. You might be staring down the barrel of a full-scale invasion. You're paranoid. Let's just crack it open and see what happens. Ooh, sure. Without any idea what's inside. <laughs> that's idiotic. <laughs> I'll show you idiotic. Oh. Ah, I didn't touch it. <laughs> I'm trying to lock in on the signal now. This thing is more important to you than your own son. Oh, oh, yep. oh you done it. It's gonna blow! Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> yes. Mo mobile suit lantern. <laughs> exactly. Gundam lantern. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get out of here now. Which way? We have to get him into the red room. To turn him into a sexy spy? It's inevitable. <laughs> I'm not leaving you, Victor. Don't you dare leave me. For the first time, <laughs> I won't leave you. <laughs> yes, Victor. I'm here. It's not going to be easy. But <laughs> it's eating him from the inside out. He's going into cardiac arrest. It's racing up his spinal cord. Ooh. <laughs> Even animated that hurt. The yeah. Sound design. I've taken apart and rebuilt most of it. It can save my son's life. It has to. Oh. <laughs> He's in pain. I. It would seem. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> going the other way. Oh, I didn't notice that. That's cool. Yeah. Upload initiated. Who? Recalibrating memory. What's happening? Stay calm, sir. Better be an important phone call. <laughs> Kovic. Whoa. <laughs> Offensive mode activated. Blue 42. Hut, hut. <laughs> Starts. <laughs> Dang. Ooh. I was wondering how they're going to chip away at it. That's cool. I mean, I feel bad for him, but. Yeah, but it's a great detail. Ooh, yeah. Get <laughs> <laughs> ah, as quick as I could. <laughs> White noise cannon enabled. Whoa. Ooh. It's a good discovery after all them. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you fight Batman. Nice. There's too many of them just to barrel through. 
Yeah? Tell that to Superman. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, wow. <laughs> That's it. Smile for me. Wow. Ooh. Swing away. Come and get some you have signs. Hey. <gasps> Sweet. Oh, it looks just like a McGinnis drawing. That's dope. They're being overcautious, huh? We'll be fine. <laughs> I need eyes up, Pronto. Oh, good. President is under Ooh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, Diana. She got that meeting after all. Wonder Woman. Thank goodness. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. But now you're on that plane. <laughs> Just, uh... Oh! Sweet shot. Yeah, some Iron Man 3 action. <laughs> yeah. What's happened to me? Mine is now a quantum computer, son. There's buzzing in my ears. Make it stop. Oh. It's half man, half machine. You had to make it just another one of your experiments. Don't you hear the buzzing? Oh, Vic. I empathize. You know what? I think I am needed downtown, and you two <laughs> clearly need to talk, so I'll just... <laughs> Unassimilated data detected. Commencing parademon indoctrination. Download initiated. Whoa. Translating. Command. Locate inhabitable worlds. No, werewolf by night. <laughs> We've only just met you. <laughs> oh no, thank you. Clockwork Dark Side. Didn't need that at all. Repurpose organic material. <laughs> Parademon. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Always too soon, Hal. Looks like you could use a hand. Flash, my boy. Great to see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's Batman. Batman's real? <laughs> yeah, he's over there. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite line. Yeah, it's over there. Immaculate <laughs> delivery. Get ready. Here they come. Mm. Boogie. I... No. My defense mode activated. Oh no. You're done. No. No! I'm not with them! Hold on. I can vouch for that. He was at Star Labs. Oh, thank God. Barry. Hey there. What's up? Shazam. I'm with him. He didn't turn back? Right? Yeah. You have to shout it. <laughs> I've talked. To their technology. They're terraforming the earth. How do you figure? Well, for one thing, the water's on fire. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, very ominous. <laughs> They're all Sauron eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't an isolated incident either. It's happening across the world. We're too late. He's here. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Omega beams. Green Lantern's got this! Dude. Oh! That's a dead lantern. <laughs> Is that your boyfriend? No. Cool. Mm. Watch this. <laughs> Blackheart the Death Eater, or whatever your World of Warcraft name is. <laughs> Tell him, Billy. Ooh. Wait, no! Oh, boy. We're gonna have to move fast. Not a problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Hey, Flash and Superman are kind of racing right now. Yeah, they got a little moment. <laughs> Flash is winning, as he should. <laughs> oh, smart. Yeah, <laughs> Never had to catch my breath before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, a full skeleton there. And we saw the inside of Kal-El. Finally. Kryptonian is ours. Master will be pleased. They flew off with him. I saw it. They took Superman. I'll get him. Lantern. Dude, Lantern. Please. <laughs> my name is Bruce Ooh. Wayne. When I was 10, my parents were murdered in front of my eyes. I spent my life training to fight the same sort of criminals that took them from me. This is different. This isn't about me. Uh, you're telling me this why? <laughs> we won't win without our big gun. Where the hell are you going? I'm going to get Superman. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Laser over here. Um, Omega beams that looks over nice. here. All right, that's Omega gone beams there. over here. A little space for my pool. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Batman. I can splice your Kryptonian genetic code to create a new uh, form. Oh, a super parademon in the service of Dark Side. Does that guy Desaad? I assume, but I've never seen him look like Bizarro-y. It's Desaad. Dark Side said so. Once we have our champion, we will seize the other supers and break them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Clockwork Kryptonian. Nope, 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 nope. Get him out of there. His showboating is going to ruin the entire plan. Oh, great. Now I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Fight it, Clark. The metamorphosis is painful. You will never feel anything ever again. I didn't send for you. <laughs> I'll see to it that your world will be just another that has fallen to dark side. What if you never see it? You wouldn't. Wouldn't you? Do. <laughs> Do. Come on, as Diana. a team, as a team. Come on! Yes. Nice! Damn. Well, now it's all blown up. <laughs> Hopefully uh, you're good there. <laughs> oh, oh, sludge blood. Dark side. We only got one oh, more eye. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. 
Come on, Justice League. I just tased him in the kidneys. Shazam's weakness. <laughs> kidneys. <laughs> Sweet. Kame. Kame. Ah! <laughs> Flash, take out the other eye. <laughs> I need this to save the world. Thanks for your help. <laughs> <laughs> I love his delivery too. He's always like talking a little fast. Flash is solid. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Flash got a bed. A bed. <laughs> <laughs> Caught him with a bed. We need you, Clark. The world needs Clark Kent. The world needs his journalism. Intrepid reporter. <laughs> Both eyeballs blown out and he still stands. What else can we do? Try and send him home. With a note to his mama. Bad boy. They're creating portals. Boom tubes. Just have to speak their language. I didn't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let's do this, Vic. To network. <laughs> Too many pop ups. Ad blocker. Ad blocker. Oh, no. Oh. Established. I guess it's good. The void peers back into you. Whoa. Oh, cool. Oh, nice effect. <laughs> Damn. That's rad. Oh, <laughs> that awesome. Jeez. That is so rad. It's actually pretty scary. <laughs> Blind and just thudding around. Just <laughs> oh. I am dark side. <laughs> Whoa. I don't. Yeah! <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. Yeah! Nice. Yes! I'm able to connect. Damn it! Dude. Oh! Woo. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. good call. Great call. Ooh, headbutt. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Initiating boom to closure. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Don't tell them, okay? It's none of their freaking business. It'll be our secret. I always said you had an the cannon. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, kid. Where'd Shazam go? He took off. Said he had a hot date. Right. Who'd go out with that immature hothead? <laughs> Human victims. <laughs> Let me just get this baby to boom for me one more time. Ooh. Yeah! Oh, I love the catcher's mitts. <laughs> we should leave before they blame us again. Oh. oh, well done. Thanks for not talking about the other thing. Don't sweat it. And thanks for seeing me in here. Oh, you're the bomb, Victory. I know, I know. You keep reminding me. Victory. Victory. <laughs> what if something like this should happen again? Please. What could possibly happen? That said, oh, no. I'm very pleased to introduce to you. Do you guys have a name? Yes, we do. You can call us the Super Seven. Oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> what? You don't like it? How about just the Seven? Yeah, I think that works out <laughs> yeah, well works for great. this type of team, this <laughs> dynamic. It's a nice little subversion, though. They dance around the word league. Yeah, yeah. 
so the Jeff John Jim Lee, I, and so like New Fifty Two. I think this is what this is based off of. I I wasn't reading a lot of DC the New Fifty Two era. I think this is based on, but it's like really different. I was gonna ask, are the the characterizations seemed a bit more like spunkified almost? A yeah, bit. it's definitely like uh, a little. Sean Astin, Michelle Monaghan, huh? Ooh, Shamar Moore, Alan Tudyk is not who I would expect as Superman. Damn. All right. Dee Bradley Baker, Steve Blum, Ian and- Gruffold, F- Mister Fantastic was Thomas Morrow. Ah, Mercer. Hey, not bad. That's awesome. And we know there there's a post credits. We'll probably you know chitty chat a little bit but we will get to the post credits yeah, scene it's so stay tuned for especially whatever, if you're all synced up whatever version you guys are watching yeah but yeah like looking at the characterizations like i really enjoyed them but i wasn't quite expecting it definitely isn't like and and uh, you know every arc every uh like there's a reason the crisis has happened like the dc universe reboots itself like really often mm. so when the crisis has happened like it's a new universe um, some of them I like, some I don't. Um, personally, like just personally, and this is gonna, people are gonna be mad in the comments, but I, I didn't enjoy uh, about half, and I did whoop, enjoy whoop. half. Oh, what's the next threat? I was wondering where Aquaman's been this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like spires in the sea. I'm like, oh, Ocean oh. Master. The surface dwellers have killed our king. This is an act of war, and they will pay. Oh, there's our next threat. Oh, damn. Fighting the sea. Got some ocean master shenanigans. Uh, what, so you're, I mean, more aware of the movie side than the than the comic side. What did you think of the characterizations? I mean, I really, I, I enjoyed the, I enjoyed them for being a little bit off the beaten path. Yeah. But not extremely so, but at the same time I was aware throughout that at least some of the characterizations were a bit just a bit different than especially like Superman and Wonder Woman were a bit different than what I associate with classic. Yeah. I don't have as great of a Hal Jordan reference point, although I remember people saying that Ryan Reynolds was like a bit too snarky for that, Hal Jordan. And that's the thing for me is like Hal Jordan isn't Kyle Rayner or Guy Gardner. So those are two other lanterns. Yeah. And and like I Kyle Rayner's my favorite lantern because he's all about creativity because he makes more ornate, crazy things mm. like with his lantern power. And they leaned that way with some of the snark and his power use, but Guy Gartner is kind of a dick and they kind of added that to him too. So this Hal felt like three of the different lanterns and that made him kind of feel like diluted because he was, he was three of them like to me. That makes sense. So like I didn't really like identify with this Hal, like it doesn't feel like Hal to me, but it's more interesting than some of the takes on Hal because he's very stoic and a little bit more rigid in some takes. But like to me, that wasn't really Hal Jordan. Um, but the Wonder Woman thing, like, I did not like this one. Like, that, I didn't mind <laughs> Green Lantern, but Wonder Woman would never say, like, it's good to be back in the heat of war. Like, she also wouldn't threaten people. Like, she likes humanity. Like, she wouldn't go around, like, causing problems. And she was, sure. like, hot-headed and childish, and that's not... Di- Childlike is Diana. Like, the scene on the boat is Diana because she's learning about the world with open eyes and an open heart. Childish is judging and like swinging a sword around and being immature. Like there's a big difference. Yeah, and obviously you're much more an expert than I, but I associate Diana with being a bit more poised and uh, yeah, having a bit more awareness of everyone around and concern. And yeah, just like being, I think that's a great distinction: childlike versus childish. She's uh, she's regal but childlike. This was arrogant and like a despot. Like like you know she didn't <laughs> she didn't like I wouldn't want to have a meeting with Themyscira if this was their region. To like it just felt very hot headed. Yeah, yeah, I can I can get on board with that. It's like I found it amusing as a, I did enjoy it as a take, and I thought that the type of character can merit this. But at the same time, it was perhaps the most uh, sort of not distracting but noticeable departure for me. So it was, I was, yeah, it was like, pretty distracting for me. Yeah, I was like, I'm enjoying this. I'm amused by this, but also I could see how this isn't necessarily definitive uh, and could, you know, yeah, potentially betray some of the spirit of the character. But like, what I thought was the voice acting was good work, but then the, the lines weren't the character. So like, I, I very much noticed as soon as she showed up, I was like, oh, this voice works fantastic. It feels powerful. It sounds like what I'd think Diana would sound like. And I'm a huge Michelle Monaghan fan. Didn't realize it was her until mm-hmm. the end. And then I was like, oh, that tracks. Yeah. But 
I think the portrayal of her acting wise could have been great, but the the writing and the and the way they wrote the character, like none of that's Diana. Like sure. there wasn't a single scene that I was like, that's that's Wonder Woman. Like yeah, not quintessential. one. Yeah, and like then Superman, he's so so for me, Green Lantern's <laughs> like half and half, and Superman's like half and half, and Wonder Woman's completely wrong to me. But again, this is a different take. But this almost felt like an Elseworld. This felt more like another world. Batman is perfect. Batman is spot on. I loved Batman. Sure, like, yeah. And this is the Batman you need in, like, when James Gunn rewrites the universe, <laughs> Pattinson should stay over there, in my opinion, and a Batman like this should be the one that interacts with these characters. Yeah, a more seasoned Batman and a Batman who has been doing this long enough to have, like, a mild humor about it. Yeah, there's yeah. got to be a little bit of, like, tongue-in-cheek, like, I'm a guy in a bat suit. Whereas the Reeves universe, that's not what the character is. So you you won't like that won't work in a comedic. I'm aware of how weird this is the way. Yeah. And I and I just feel like Superman. Like there's something about some creators that just want to make Superman evil. Like I don't know what it is. Like they just <laughs> like he's always like on the edge. And so like when he killed that dude, I'm like, well, that's just one step away from snapping Zod's neck. Like everyone just wants to Homelander him. And the, sure. the reason Homelander works is because it is so opposite like the reason homelander yeah, like it's it, reacting to yeah, yeah so if if he's even 10 percent closer to homelander it negates both of them sure i did have that thought it's another wonder woman moment but i did have that thought on the plane of like thank god this wonder woman is like at least on the good side of this fight otherwise right. this could turn into a boy's situation and yeah this this very much felt like they those two characters could turn and i don't think that's the characters like he doesn't go you know arrogantly you know you're welcome to batman like batman is snarky but like superman doesn't rub it in people's faces that he has more powers that's why he's super is because he's not proud of his abilities he has a responsibility yeah yeah i can i can definitely see where you're coming from with that and and, and it didn't bother me but but like i said it was certainly noticeable like i enjoyed like I, for me i enjoyed this front to back oh i had a fun time but it, i had to make it an else else world else world up here yeah and then and that was the thing is is and and we'll get to you know all the the juicy plot stuff but that was the thing coming out of the previous movie because everyone's like oh this 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 is the next one and i guess that communicated to me the idea of like okay this is going to flow directly uh, yeah, out of that continuation and that one yeah. i loved 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 like that, that was, was like oh, mask man. of the phantasm good i was i was a little worried because i'm so excited to watch this whole journey and like as long as you know people keep wanting to have us watch these i wanted to but this mm -hmm. felt like Flashpoint to me was an A plus phantasm level genre redefining. I'm like uh, overwhelmed, and this I had to rewrite it as an Elseworld, and I and this was more of like a C for me. Like not gonna lie, like I really I struggled, and maybe it's personal because we're going through this reboot of DC, mm. and I keep reading about people that just fundamentally disagree with who Superman is to me, and what worries me is. I'm always worried I'm the one that's wrong. And I know yeah. every character is archetypal. Every character has interpretation. Sure. But I have so much comic book data as well as like reasons behind why Superman can't be like this. And then I see things like this and I'm like, well, this is why these people all think that's Superman because that's what people are making. So yeah. I'm worried if someone makes something in this vein, it, it's it's falling down that same problem. And, and again, what if I'm wrong? What if this is Superman? Yeah, and I feel like the animated movies lend more credence to the idea that something would be presenting itself as comic book authentic exactly. or something like that more so than the automatic, I think, handicap you give a live action movie of like, well, they're going to change stuff. They have to adapt it to movie. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, this was, this was cool in a, in a way to, you know, like we just had the Snyder Cut and we've had, you know, lots of inspiration come out of this story for, yeah. you know, the live action DC movies we've seen recently. And so it was really cool to watch the counterparts in this iteration, and and like I said, yeah, in, in terms of performances and characterizations, I really enjoyed watching everyone together. Yeah, and then, uh, the yeah. last fight, dude, like I kept saying during it, like that was Jackie Chan. Yeah. Like they did the thing where it's like, why aren't they all attacking at once? Oh, they are. Dark Side's that good. Yeah, like the way they yeah, choreographed yeah. that fight, like Dark Side was perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. Positives, Dark Side. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I really enjoyed Flash. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoyed Flash Shazam. Did. I think they did a great job with Billy and Shazam. Shazam and Cyborg both. Yeah. Both as individuals and together, I really liked. And they gave them time. I really enjoyed that this gave Cyborg time. <laughs> Cyborg is still the heart. It was still, <laughs> still. Yeah, literally. Because that is one thing about about this that, that did surprise me is, is like I said, I, I very much enjoyed watching and I had a blast but given what a significant arc it is, what a significant villain and story it is, it, it, 
It's funny looking at Flashpoint Paradox. That gets straight to the point, yeah. and it doesn't feel like it's short or anything like that, or like it's lacking in any substantial element. Whereas this does get kind of right to the point, and you pretty much just watch them deal Fight. with. Yeah, it almost feels like a big Act Three movie because <laughs> we don't meet Bruce Wayne really. We have a reveal. We have a conversation. We never meet Clark. Yeah. And there's certain things that are like the the beauty of superheroes is they have to balance their other lives. And if you don't have their other lives come to play at all, you notice it. Yeah. Like Hal Jordan's yeah, yeah. got four seconds on screen when he's just out of his like there's no human element to and these characters. And that's literally just to like clarify for us in the back, like, okay, it, it's Hal. Oh, they, they, we, <laughs> he's we got the name Hal? tag, okay. it's Hal. <laughs> and then Batman to reference it later. Yeah. For so sure. like I, I just feel like uh, we didn't get the people behind the heroes in this. Yeah, I liked the the like ending idea of, you know, touching on like the gods it's nice to be among a pantheon again and sort of directly checking who some of the inspirations are um but yeah i I guess i you know in my armchair criticism i could (laughs) have used yeah just maybe a little more like this is a tight you know 80 minutes or so Mm -hmm. i could have you know i would have gladly sat for another 10 or 15 to get yeah a little more of the life of the characters because two if it was just directly feeding out of the last movie and like voice casting aside, like that's one thing, but yeah, yeah, just like the overall characterizations felt like I was watching a new movie with a new set of interpretations. And so, yeah, you don't have the previous movie then to fall back on. Whereas at the start, you kind of feel like maybe you could, uh, because yeah. And like flashpoint paradox, you still do get at least a little bit of the personal side of things. And especially through Barry Allen, obviously because of how, personal that story is but yeah like as as just a swath of of sort of action and you know characters all pointed towards a single convergence point like yeah i thought it was thrilling and and fun and well directed but yeah i mean it not as big of a slam dunk for me as under the red hood and as uh, and as flashpoint paradox so far. I, I enjoyed the action i enjoyed like you said the the arrow the point that all coming together and i liked the characters we did have time with like we got to meet victor and cyborg so mm-hmm. he was a highlight we got to meet barry and flash he was yeah. a highlight we got we didn't get bruce but we got such a good batman i was really impressed with this batman because yeah. i i've said and it's gotten me yelled at by all sorts of dc fans <laughs> that the batman dynamic has to be different between uh, uh the the matt reeves batman which i mentioned earlier and bruce wayne versus batman batman's effectively three characters there's batman there's the public bruce wayne and there's the private bruce wayne which is why i'm such a fan of what christian bale did because sure. he played three sure. characters you have That's to. That's a good point. You know what I mean? Like he's not playing two. Yeah. He's playing three. So I really like that we have those three characters in uh, the comic books, but we don't have those in the Matt Reeves movie because they, he hasn't developed his third character yet. Yeah, he doesn't even care about that right now. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't. Like, Bruce Wayne doesn't exist. And that was a lot of people's criticism with the Matt Reeves Batman was Bruce Wayne was barely in it. And I was like, that's the point. Is is He is Batman. The mask is Bruce, but Bruce hasn't developed the mask yet. So oh, and we Bruce wants so badly not to be Bruce. At any point. Yeah, so, yeah. We, so why would he develop the Playboy persona when he doesn't even care about the shell of Bruce? Mm. So this is a more dynamic way to make the Batman here work with these gods and realize how ridiculous this job is. But that humor is so important. So they nailed the humor. They nailed the way he fights. They nailed the smarts and all yeah. those things. So I loved this Batman. Like, there's sure. a lot of positives. Like, if this was a Batman story that had these characters as Elseworlds that he's interacting with. And he's like, why is Diana so weird? Like, yeah. I'd love that. Yeah, like yeah, that all yeah. worked for me. And Billy Batson, like I, I thought the stealing of the, the Jersey was genius. Mwah. Like I really enjoyed their dynamic a lot. Uh, and then the, like the team up at the end, like a lot worked for me. I don't want to, I don't want to sound negative, but to me it was like, we just got out of, I think, two of the best animated <laughs> movies ever. Yeah. So I'm really excited for the next one. Cause, cause you were saying like the next one, like a lot of people like and, and leading into this next series. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I dug it, but I am excited for the next one more. Yeah. And I didn't even realize that's, uh, that's the thing is it's, uh, I, I'm hoping to hone my ear for the voices. Cause each time we come into this, I'm like, okay, who is, you know, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to miss an anvil and I get to the end credits and be like, Oh, of course. But, uh, freaking Matt O'Mara, like he's got the dual cred. Cause I know him from agents of shield oh, and the MC kind of you and crossover. now, and now doing Batman here. Like I loved his take on the character I of dug Batman. it too yeah. I really liked his Batman I, yeah. I don't know that actor so I, I'll look him up that is a solid Batman yeah and, and Michelle Monaghan's Wonder Woman is probably my favorite oh sure oh and I hope to hear her, I hope she does more Wonder Woman because it would be nice to 
you know, hearing especially that perspective and again, kind of having her be one of the more obvious tone shifted characters. I yeah. would love to hear Michelle Monaghan's take on a more classic Wonder Woman. And two, with Superman, it does. I, I have started to very much sort of cherish and and appreciate when I find an interpretation that does seem like it it. It, it, whoever's writing it isn't feeling encumbered by the tenets of the character. <laughs> well, that's what's so hard is he's a lot like Captain America where it's like on paper, how do you make this guy interesting? Like, how do you make this character? That's why I was so impressed with Chris Evans' take because mm-hmm. he made a very impossible character fascinating. Then Winter Soldier leveled it up to a 20. But Superman is, I think, one of the hardest characters to write and that's why there's so few comic runs I'd recommend. And that's why I always wonder if I'm wrong because there's so, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's been around for 70 years and I'm like, I like these 30 like there's so few I mean, that's still a lot no i'm not even saying 30 years like 30 runs like like that's uh, still a lot that's still a lot that's fair that's fair <laughs> but like in the, th- the i was here i was over here like what at five or six <laughs> there's five issues kid this is superman <laughs> this, is, no. this is the only good superman <laughs> hey guys uh i know i'm in the minority here but one issue of superman really gets them uh but yeah, it's, it's hard to uh it's hard to feel like you know what the character is when a lot of people do see him more aggressively and i just feel like that's fundamentally not how he's perceived if that's Superman. But I, I'm curious about the next film's interpretation, especially of these two that I'm, I'm flummoxed by. I'm really yeah. excited to see more Cyborg now that he gets to be the heart with some screen time. Yeah. I wanted more Flash. I get why we got limited time because they were sharing with Barry. Um, Shazam being part of the Justice League makes me so happy because we don't get to see that very much. And now Aquaman, it looks like, with that post credit scene. Yeah. I'm really excited for the next one. And, was, and, and, and okay, in the post credit scene, the, the king is dead. That's not Aquaman himself. No, it must be. Um, okay. Like I was like, where's Aquaman? <laughs> <laughs> this feels like someone's missing. We here. got to the end, and then I was like, oh yeah, when when they had yeah, like right when that big sea spire was disappearing, when they had won, I was like, oh yeah, it, like shit's got to be going wild in the oceans. Right? They dropped now. a lot of stuff we in those never oceans. Cut there, we never acknowledge Aquaman, and he's like one of the quintessential Justice League. It's not a complaint, and obviously they did it for a reason. But but yeah, I'm like, where where's Aquaman? <laughs> Seems like a thing we missed. Yeah, and I'm curious which take he is sure and like this seems to be a a going universe so what's he gonna be like yeah and 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 two if the next take even you know is consistent with these (laughs) yeah does this continue Uh, audience let us know which of these characters you feel like are the most accurate to your interpretation like i said archetypal let us know uh which of these movies you enjoy the most let us know if you feel like we were spot on or if you're gonna yell at me about my thoughts on superman and wonder woman because it's coming uh but please 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 no matter what do comment do like do subscribe hit that notification bell we are gonna do more of these but we need you to like subscribe share if you want to see more of these because that's how the internet works so please do all of that and uh patrons hope you enjoyed your sync to sync line to line watching it with us on hbo max that's right john i love doing this with me i love doing this with you these are real this fun i'm excited for more of these yeah i am too oh 2023 I'm, hanging out dude i'm looking forward to it i love that you guys are looking for, it seems like everyone's been pretty positive dude, I, in the comments. I was i, I actually read the comments didn't didn't break me <laughs> didn't cry once not nope not even a little bit well, i didn't have to well, dude, in the spirit of love, let's end this video off with a with a patron of the day shout out. <laughs> Lance Door, you're the Superman of this channel, and you know what? You would be the iconic, definitive interpretation. You're a good dude. You're a stand-up dude, but you know how to get stuff done. Does Superman ever quip? Uh, like he quip- ever? He doesn't quip in the traditional sense but he'll say something that is so like earnest and sincere it comes across as a quip does that make sense like he'll say something and you're like aware that it's funny but he might not even realize it or everyone else is like a fat so superman like that kind of quip dude that's that's the lance door humor that i feel like you would have you would show up kick open a door douse a fire say something kind to the kid and then the kid's like hey you got jokes lance door yeah that's, that's i guess that's what i'm hoping in 2023 get funnier lance come on like you got a great <laughs> name lance that's all i know about you yeah good man. name lance door real strong yeah two syllables but like with an oomph there like lance door yeah like it's got right? some yeah i'm proud of it. lance so, if a guy kicked down a door and was like lance door i don't know why it's always I'd a door him into like yeah. an 80s action uh, now he's an 80s action star in my mind dude yeah 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 tear those sleeves off and you know cover yourself in some baby oil oil up lance yeah, door get oil that rambo up. makeup proud of you love you buddy hope your 2023 is off to a good start and we'll see you next month we'll see you for the next one of these animated movies we're excited about and trailers and stuff you know you know what you're doing here you're you're an hour and a half into a video you know you know where you're at all right bye rejects i love you